is the principal legal advisor to government in legal matters. I look at the president as a vision bearer of the whole country. As he receives advice from the office of the attorney general, he has to take into account other sectors because the law does not exist in a vacuum. He has to take into account socioeconomic matters, security matters, and I believe he not only gets advice from the attorney general, but also from those other sectors. It is the culmination of all these advices from different sectors in which I have no expertise to give that the president of the Republic of Kenya would make a decision. If the president of the Republic of Kenya is the vision bearer and everybody under him is working towards achieving the vision of the government of the day, I do not see where there can be a conflict. Otherwise, for me, I would give efficient, professional advice, which is just, which is fair, which is objective, which is truthful, and which is in accordance with the Constitution. The lost cases in the judiciary, I think it is important for me to say that I am not able to comment on why specific cases are lost unless I am seized with the information. But I also think that it is the responsibility of the Attorney General to put in place mechanisms to mitigate loss. And where loss is occasioned deliberately by an officer to take action or to recommend action. The two-third gender rule. The Constitution provides that in all appointive and elective post, one gender should not be more than one-third, two-thirds. I think this is an issue that has been litigated. This is an issue that is before this House. And I would be cautious in commenting on it unless I see 